Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to go over three smart thermostats that work without a common wire. And you might wonder what a common wire is. Well, it is also known as a C wire, and it's typically an extra wire that is found in a thermostat wiring bundle, and it allows thermostats to charge up. Now, what's special about these three smart thermostats is that they typically don't require a common wire. Many other smart thermostats either require a common wire or a common wire adapter, which means that you have to go down into your HVAC system and wire up this common wire adapter, and then you can go install your smart thermostat. But what's nice about these three is that typically they will not require a common wire or a common wire adapter, which makes them easier to install, and you won't have to go into your HVAC system to wire them up making the install that much easier. So what I've got over here is the Nest Learning Thermostat, the Nest E Thermostat, and this is the Emerson Sensei ST55, and this has been out a long time. Now we've also got the Emerson Sensei Smart Thermostat installed right here. In all three of these, we've got lots of videos down in the description below. So if you wanna learn more about any of these or how they install, or how to use them, check down in the description below for that. But we'll start off with the Nest thermostat right here. And what I like about this is that it probably has the highest end design of any three of these. It's got a metal outer ring that you can really easily adjust the temperature. It's got a full color display, and it also has functionality with the most types of heating and cooling systems. This will work with boilers, systems with air conditioners, systems with furnaces that are gas fired. It also works with heat pumps, single stage cooling, single stage heating, dual stage heating, dual stage cooling, and it will work with humidifiers and dehumidifiers. It is a very versatile thermostat and probably one of my favorite smart thermostats overall. And if you wanna learn more about that, check in that description below. But it does not typically require a common wire. I've installed this on boiler systems without a common wire and it works perfectly fine. I've installed it in traditional HVAC systems where you've got an AC unit and then a gas fired furnace and it works just fine in those configurations as well as it's worked in heat pump configurations without a common wire. And it just really depends on your system if you're gonna need that common wire or not. But I'd say in most cases, upwards of 90% of systems, you're not gonna need a common wire with this Nest thermostat. But when you do, it's typically because your system isn't putting out enough voltage or it doesn't have a circuit that allows you to have that return current coming back to it in a way that will allow this battery to charge up internally in the Nest thermostat. Now the next one over here is the Nest E thermostat. And what it is is just a lower price point version of the Nest thermostat. So with the Nest E thermostat, it's compatible with fewer types of systems. So if you have a more complicated system that has dual stage heating or dual stage cooling, the Nest E thermostat doesn't have that compatibility like the Nest thermostat does. It also does not have that full color glass display. It's more of a plastic thermostat. So the outer ring is plastic instead of metal. And the face of the thermostat is like a glossed over white. So it's not a clear full color display. What you get is kind of these muted tones underneath, but it works perfectly fine. And it's just as reliable as a Nest thermostat. And the reason that the Nest E is like that is because it's at a lower price point, but it also does seem to use a little bit less energy. So maybe that helps with it also not needing a common wire as often as some other smart thermostats because it doesn't have the same energy or power consumption as a full color display, a larger display, and some of the features that are on the Nest thermostat. Now the last one we've got over here is the ST55 Sensei Smart Thermostat, and this has been around for a while, and it's a very bare bones thermostat. You can see it over here. You can just tap up or down and change the temperature, and the screen's just kind of like a calculator. Uh, nothing fancy there. There's no graphics. There's no colors to it, and it does have two batteries that are actually AA batteries that you put into it, but it also will work with the wiring that you have in your existing HVAC system. 
Now it does require a common wire in the case if you've got a heat only system, an air conditioning only system, or if you're using a heat pump. However, if you're using a traditional furnace and air conditioner setup, where you've got an air conditioner and a gas fired furnace, this is gonna work just fine without a common wire. And then you can connect it to your phone and control it from your phone. And that's the beauty of all three of these smart thermostats is that you're going to get that controllability from your phone so you can change the temperature anywhere. And you've also got the flexibility of scheduling those thermostats or if you wanna enable the smart features where you're not going to use energy when you're away from your home, it'll automatically turn down the heating or cooling to be more energy efficient if you enable those features. So these two thermostats work on the Nest app and then this one works on the Sensei app. As far as compatibility with other devices, the Nest devices are compatible with Google Home products and at what point they were compatible with Amazon ALEXA devices, but some of that compatibility gets limited over time, so I don't know how long that will continue. And then you've got the Sensei Smart Thermostat. This is compatible with ALEXA voice assistants, Google Home Voice Assistants and HomeKit actually. So it's compatible with all of the major smart voice assistants. In order of my favorite of these three smart thermostats that don't use a common wire, my number one is the Nest thermostat over here. I've had this for a long time in my house. I really love it. Uh, the next one would probably be the Nest E. And then I do like the Sensei. It just doesn't have the same uh, appeal as one of these other thermostats. I mean, these are kind of like a piece of art, the Nest thermostat, but the Sensei thermostat does get the job done. It's very reliable and it doesn't require a common wire. It's also at a lower price point. Uh, sometimes a Sensei thermostat is less than half the cost of the Nest thermostat. So if you want smart home capabilities, but you don't need maybe the flashiness of a Nest thermostat, this is a great option because it has been reliable and it's at a low price point and it'll give you that control from your phone just fine. So thank you for watching this video on three smart thermostats that do not require a common wire or do not require a C wire. We hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna support us, please click the links below. We've got a little merch shop there and some other products that uh, we work on. So check out the description below. Thank you and we'll see you next time.